Amnesty International has just released a new report that argues that the UK government took decisions during the pandemic that violated the human rights of people in English care homes. The report is titled, As If Expendable, the UK government's failure to protect all people in care homes during the COVID-19 pandemic. And it is a damning indictment of major decisions that were taken in the corridors of the UK government. The report begins by detailing that between the 2nd of March and the 12th of June 2020, over 18,000 people in English care homes died with COVID-19, which was close to 40% of all COVID-related deaths in England during those months. The report states that the UK government, national agencies and local level bodies have taken decisions and adopted policies during the COVID-19 pandemic that have directly violated the human rights of older residents of care homes in England. Since the start of the pandemic, the serious threat posed by COVID-19 to elderly people with underlying health problems was clear argues the report, yet the UK government failed to take measures promptly and adequately to protect care homes. One of the central criticisms was directed at decisions taken by English authorities at the national and local level in relation to COVID-19 patients being transferred into care homes. Authorities allowed elderly people who had COVID-19 or potentially had COVID-19 to be discharged from hospital and transferred into care homes under the advice that these people were not required to test negative for COVID-19. Furthermore, care home managers told interviewers that they were pressured in numerous ways to accept elderly people who had COVID-19 or who had not been tested for the virus yet. These policies, decisions and indecisions were likely significant factors in COVID-19 spreading rapidly through care homes, resulting in thousands of the most vulnerable people in society dying. This all took place whilst the government was imposing restrictions on wider society in the name of protecting the most vulnerable people in society.